Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time you are watching this video. It's a pleasure to have you on the other side. I want to share with you one of my unusual morning routines in this vlog. I've said a short prayer, so I will head straight to the kitchen to begin my day. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday when I came back from work in the evening, I started with the cooking. So I processed my meat. I mean, I steamed my meat and also prepped my granite base. How are you doing? Grace found me today and I want to believe you are bouncing in the same grace. Let me know how you are faring in the comment section. Let's reflect on the words in Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. I'll be doing the reading in my language, but I will project the English translation. It reads, Nasa enye wo mo eni susa mo besum eradia. Eni ene muni dia mo besum nomfa. Se enya me a mo ja no mo sumu ye a wo wo esuja no. Se amore for a moti wan asa si suye enya mi yo. Na mini mi fi ye die. Ye besum erade. Amen. Yes, tonight I put down my palm nut base to thaw and then i have added some hot water onto it because i do not have the luxury of time i am going to strain it once with a fine strainer guys even if you use the regular colander to strain try with the with the fine strainer and you are going to see a difference you are going to see some chaff still in the strainer so it means that if you had poured it directly into the soup you would have been eating all those particles as soup <laughs> shakara could make person lose beautiful memories the picture the the <laughs> the is it the screen whatever that picture if i remember how i fought the makeup artist before she could do that <laughs> sometimes i can only laugh i can only laugh at that experience one of the prayer groups i belong to is having a 90 day fasting from the 1st of october to december so that is where i am at the moment so i have joined the prayer call and we are doing well so far so good in my language we say that opinion only about frano and concomba ni fear on one obo we also say that sutra a ben wono yejenin tem that that is to say that if you don't have help you do what you have to do you don't leave certain things thinking that someone will do it when you know that that thing will finally rest on you. So that is what is happening to me now. I am doing the cooking and the cleaning concurrently. Earlier on, I took out the meat because it wasn't that tough. And I have also added some fresh tomatoes. What I am adding now are peppers, the peppers and turkey berries. So I cooked and then blended and yeah and kept them in the freezer so that is what i have added to the soup as i am doing all these my mind is still on the prayers i am not a tongue speaking christian and i don't usually pray loud so i i can be with you and be praying but you wouldn't know Still on the Bible reading we read earlier on, share with me in the comment section the genesis of that scripture. Why did, most, why did Joshua ask the Israelites to choose the God they would serve? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. I have forgotten. Sincerely, I have forgotten. Though I have heard this 
message over and over again so help me refresh my memory the soup is still on fire so i have come to the bedroom to lay my bed and also to freshen up because it's a working day and i'll go to work that table is my study area and work area as well this is where i bid and study for the living room i don't know <laughs> i don't know the last time i fully used the living room because i hardly watch television because i am always on my phone i'm back to the kitchen so i am now adding the meat back into the soup and also the uh, the blended ingredients the blended vegetables that is the tomatoes yeah basically the tomatoes and the onions that i added and i also follow it up with the granite base that i prepped the night before so i am basically making nkatebe that is a blend or a combination of palm nuts and then a peanut butter soup and i pair it with kokonte kokonte is fufu from a uh, dried cassava flour so that is what you saw me preparing earlier guys this bag <laughs> it no bought it for nature is thrift or food as we call it in ghana she used to put her food in to work and she never complained that the food gets cold so when she left i started using it when i put my food in after about an hour the food will be cold so one day i decided to put water looking at the shape and <laughs> when i put ice water a very chilled or a, a frozen water do we say frozen in higher block yeah when i put such water in the bag it can last for eight hours after eight hours the water will still be very chilled so i use that bag for water and then the other for my food by now i believe you know that when i cook no matter what i will still give out some so i gave some to my colleague and he brought that food to work and my people till date people still do fight me over that coconut thing i don't know about you but this thing works for me i remember back in accra when it's time for potluck in our church knowing that everybody will be bringing rice dishes i'll go with say coconut and everybody will come around it sometimes i'll go with gari so we make soakings or ice kinky or mash cake <laughs> and everybody would love to have my food because i don't do the ordinary until i come your way with another video tomorrow what did you learn from this vlog merry christmas